Hello Internet, my name is Jason Marshall, your scale model artist. And today I'm going to be, I'm going to be working on, excuse me, some engine lighting and light blocking techniques. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. As you can see, we're really moving along on the Galactica now. I've installed, but not permanently, the flight paws. Now they've been closed up, wired them in. And I want to take a little bit of time to talk about uh, engine lighting and LED. And I'm going to focus on this guy first and uh, then show you some light blocking techniques. So what you're looking at is the uh, port upper engine pod. What you have here is a blue 3 milliliter LED with a 470 ohm resistor connected to magnet wire. This black stuff here is Tulip. It's a very, very th thick acrylic. I'm using it for a light blocking material because I didn't do any internal light blocking. Uh, everything is done from the outside by primer and paint. So it's pretty intense and um, so I was getting a bit of light leak uh, on this side, but r for the most part nowhere else. It was just uh, poor coverage over here, so the tulip uh, took care of that. So what you're looking at right now is the card that came when I ordered my set of LEDs. I got a whole bunch of them, and luckily it gave me everything I need to know, like your forward voltage. In the case of the blue, minimum is 3 volts just to turn it on, typical 3.2 volts and uh, we're running at 25 milliamps so there's a way to calculate the resistor value and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on that right now so here's the quick rundown for you on calculating your resistor voltage for your LEDs so the first thing we need to know, need to know is our power supply I run 9 volt power supplies so we need to take that and subtract it by the minimum voltage which is 3 volts, which gives us 6. Then we need to divide that by the milliamperage, which in this case is 25 milliamps. So divide by 0 0.025, and that gives us 240. Now I don't have a 240. I'm actually running a 470 ohm resistor for my engine LEDs. Uh, the value is higher, but it still allows the minimum uh, voltage through. And there you go, that's working with LEDs. It's actually pretty simple. Might seem a bit uh, confusing or intimidating the first time uh, you ponder it, but uh, once you get going, it's super easy. So if you're wondering about the product, I got this from Walmart. It comes in multiple colors, but uh, the black works just great for my use. So there's a little bit applied. I'm going to throw some more in. It's got this nice little end here. I'm just going to kind of spread around with a brush. And there you go, some pretty quick light blocking. So as you can see, we've uh, made quite a bit of progress on the Galactica. We're actually just about ready to close up the two, uh, two body halves. Uh, I've got to install the uh, engine covers for the pods. That'll take a little bit of work. Um, not a perfect fit because of recycling. But I'm going to put them together, we'll fill any gaps with Tulip, and uh, that'll take care of that. As it turns out, I'm not done with the engine lighting just yet. Uh, there's a couple things I want to show you. First is the engine nozzles. These are considerably less bright than this LED as is. So we're going to use a little bit of cotton to uh, step that down. The other thing I'm going to do is light the center engines. I took some cool white LED tape and applied some transparent paint to it to give it the blue glow. The nozzle, the lens, and some cotton. I'm going to take a little bit of white glue, apply it to the end of a brush, Good thing it's water soluble because I can clean that brush afterwards. And I'm actually going to apply the glue to the inside. There we go, we got that inside and now we can install the lens. So just drop the lens in, you can push in so it's nice and tight against the outer wall. And there you have it. Here's the thing, you don't actually need a whole lot of cotton to, uh, to do this. I think we'll go like that. So I don't want it. We don't want to lose too much light. You can stuff it in there. 
and that is how I filter my light lighting these exposed wires. I'm going to use a liquid electrical tape which I found at an automotive parts store to uh, insulate those connections. All right, there's another episode uh, done of the Battlestar Galactica build. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, um, especially the tulip light blocking technique. Um, I'm sure most of you are aware of it. Um, I picked it up a couple years ago from another modeler, and uh, it's been a pretty invaluable tool, actually. Um, if you've worked with it, what's your experience been like? Uh, I would very much like it if you would uh, share that in the comment section down below. Questions, other comments etc. You can reach me on here or the usual so social media channels, Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter. All those links are down below. Now, if this is your first time here or you've watched several videos and never uh, subscribed, I would very much love it if you would uh, give you a chance to keep up to date with my twice weekly videos, Wednesdays and Saturdays, where I share my knowledge on model building with the hope of helping you improve your builds as well. So, subscribe. Just do it. You know you want to. Um, I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day. I know that there's a lot of content on YouTube, um, even from this niche of model building, it can be overwhelming. So, um, you know, watching my stuff is, uh, I appreciate it. I really do. So, until next time, keep on building.